Hey, it was. Hey, there we go. Damn. It's a little low there for a second. What's going on, everybody? Here's your boy yeah, Delgado coming at you here. Late Monday night here. I don't know if it's really late. It's only a little after 10 p.m., but uh, it's late enough. I've been up way too early, worked way too long, and yet here I am still working. But that's all right. Got to get things done, right? Well, so tonight I wanted to kind of talk a little bit about something that's kind of near and dear to me. And it's a best practice that I like to engage in when I can. And honestly, I think this is something that we all can do. This is something that I can certainly do a better job of. But it's expressing gratitude. Now, one of the things that I try to preach to my children and I try to talk to people about every single time that I get the opportunity to do so, um, I like to tell folks, you know, make sure that when you wake up in the morning, be grateful that you're waking up because God knows you didn't have to wake up when you're able to get up and walk on your own two feet. You know, that's something to be grateful for when you're, you know, all the plumbing is working and doing all the stuff that it's supposed to do. Again, that's something to be thankful for. And when you look at the endeavors that we participate in on a day-to-day -day basis, well, Again, that's something to be thankful for. Here on the Caramel Conservative Plus Ultra Media, I've launched a couple different projects over the last few months now. I started up this video podcast and something I like call the STS, Shooting the Shit. And I'm putting it also on YouTube and Library TV. And I've done this within the last day. And if you guys get an opportunity, make sure you check it out. But I've gotten some good feedback already on it. I've got a couple of subscribers. I mean, it's nothing huge. It, it's not like everybody in the brothers flocking to it or anything. But the feedback that I've gotten so far has been very positive. And it's, it's one of those things that motivates me to keep putting out content. This on top of the already successful Caramel Conservative podcast that I'm already working. And one of the things that really drives me to doing what I do is that, you know, I want to build a better country for my children. I want them to have the benefits I had growing up. I want them to see the way things should be taught versus the way things are currently being taught, which in my opinion, is erroneous he's jacked up and they're not doing as good a job as they really should now that being said i'm thankful for the fact that i have you guys the listening audience and those that are participating throwing out comments in the chat room especially the live chat room we do our tuesday night live show uh 8 p.m and yeah let's throw a banner up in there because tomorrow night we'll be putting up a show again but I, I'm just very thankful that I've had the opportunity to meet so many different people across this country, uh, especially here in the state of Wisconsin. And this, this platform, doing the podcast, the video cast, it's given me an outlet that I would not have otherwise have had. And it's taken a number of years to get to this point. And it's been a hard road. It's been a long road. But I feel like I've learned a lot. I'm able to work with other folks, other great content creators to help them along their way on their journey to help pay it forward. Because I've had other people mentor and work with me in the past. And again, this is I, I can't express the gratitude that I have for all of you guys out there in the listening audience that are taking a part of your day to join me and being a part of our conversation here. This is, I think there's a lot of people that take a lot of things for granted. If you think about it, how many people take for granted the liberties and freedoms that our very nation provide us? There's a lot of them. They think we're living in the worst thing in the world, but yet here we are. And you got the freedom to complain about it. You know, you should be thankful for that. Um, I just look at the opportunities that I have, regardless of skin color, regardless of gender, regardless of whatever, with people that are willing to work with me and I'm willing to work with them. 
there are so many opportunities out here for you and me and others to collaborate and it is it is really a humbling experience that i've had to work with a number of phenomenal content creators um you know coming to mind there was brother john from obfsu mike myers from radio hope alex garrett from alex garrett podcasting and that's just a few of the great people i mean these are folks that are in texas and iowa new york city uh it's it's something like i said it is very humbling and then we got hilario in here yes i had a chance to meet this gentleman here it's an outstanding young man but this is something that i really wanted to put out here and just say thank you could i do this would i do this if i only had one or two listeners one or two viewers yeah i probably still would i'm a loud mouth that's got too much of an opinion and i just like to kind of shoot off at the, at the hip here sometimes but the very fact that i have you guys you know looking for more content wanting to be a part of that content is something that helps to drive me and helps to make me want to be better and provide the best content that i can provide for you while i knock over the microphone and you hear the reverberation there uh <laughs> But again, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you so very much. I do truly appreciate each and every one of you guys. So make sure you guys check us out tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. The Caramel Conservative Podcast will be back live here. I'm looking to possibly get a guest on here tomorrow. Uh, we'll be doing just an audio podcast. And uh, we got a bunch of topics here. Obviously, we're going to be talking about Governor Whitmer. Her little uh, 8645, if you don't know what that is, I tell you to look it up, but they're changing it on Wikipedia on an hour-to-hour -hour basis. But we'll talk about that and some of the other crazy stuff she's mentioned. Um, going to be talking about the coronavirus. Obviously, that's uh, you know that's not going anyway anytime soon. Hunter Biden, we got the debates coming up Thursday. There's going to be a lot of different things to talk about. So, guys, please make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, throw out the heart, do whatever you got to do. Share, share, share. If you guys know conservative content creators that are out there, please make sure you share their content. This is so extremely important because take a look at what's happening to individuals like Tim Pool or Jeremy from The Quartering. Um, there's a lot of other content creators that are being blacklisted and you're not able to find them. If you were to do a Google, Bing, Yahoo search, anything like that, you cannot find these people. So sharing is the best thing that you can do for any of this content that you're seeing out here. So please make sure, try to make that happen if you can. And um, you know what? I'll check in with you guys tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Good night, God bless you. God bless the United States of America. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you.